Hello dear ones. On a beautiful day in late December at Sage Ranch. And I thought I'd talk to you today a little bit about um, something mysterious that happened to me at the car wash on Sunday. Um, so I went in to, to pay the money for the car wash in the machine and uh, there was another car in front of me. It was a van and it went into the car wash but I could see what was going on because there was um, uh, one of those circular uh, mirrors, the curved mirrors that show things that are going on. And uh, so I saw that the car finished with the car wash and then it started, the car started to get smaller as it moved out of the car wash, right? So I put my money in and I, um, I, it told the, the machine told me to enter the car wash. And so I went around the curve to go into the car wash and there was that very van um, just backed up to the entrance of the car wash and getting ready to go into it for the car wash. So I don't really have an explanation for that because I saw the van leaving. I just don't know what to say about it. So um, I waited again for the cycle to complete itself and the, the, the van left and then I went into the car wash and I was able to get my car washed successfully. I, I wonder what's going on with time these days. I mean, I've noticed it speeding up. I've, I've noticed how few things I can get done in a day. And uh, even though I'm very industrious. And uh, the, my sense of time has changed. It's like time seems to be just moving very, very fast. And so I get up in the morning and I do the thing that seems the most important and the most fun to do that day and since I the day seems to last for such a short length of time I congratulate myself at the end of the day that I've achieved that one thing and maybe a few other things too I don't know if you've been noticing these strange things about time but uh, uh, temporal slips or slides something like that and there's a separate thing that's going on. It has to do with the fourth dimension. It's almost like um, it, I've seen a couple of instances where people who are living right now, clear audiently, it seems to me that they are some aspect of themselves is peeling off and going into a separate incarnation either uh, here on earth now to complete some aspect of themselves that that they weren't able to complete in this lifetime like for instance joy of playing kirtan so so one aspect of one person just one day it, it was the soul was hovering around me and some portion of the soul just decided it had had enough of waiting around and it went uh, as a separate incarnation off to India to play kirtan this whole lifetime. And that was very odd because the person is still alive. The, the original person is still alive. Almost unbelievable, really. And I had another instance with a person where they really loved uh, a woman that they were divorced from. And, in, and a portion of they loved that woman so much that in a, a portion of their soul, I th think they call it uh, fractal, peeled off from their soul and decided to move into an alternate lifetime where that, that um, woman was married to someone new and was ready to conceive a baby and that soul decided to take the um, responsibility of being her son. And I even saw like a fast forward where the baby was born and it was still aware of its current lifetime and it was for the first month struggling to fit into the scenario of, of uh, uh, the husband and, uh, and the 
mother that had previously been its 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 spouse, but um, but then at the end of that time, it mercifully forgot all that and it sank into the role that it, it had chosen for itself to be cl very close to the woman it loved in a in a, a childish fashion. It was uh, very unusual and uh, kind of cool that we're in a situation right now apparently where we can speed up karma, we can actually actualize our, our many desires for ourselves in many different directions uh, simultaneously with our current in incarnation. I don't believe I've heard anyone talking about that, but uh, apparently it's true. It's possible. And it's kind of cool. So, well, I have just one other thing to talk about of the fourth dimension right now. And that is, it seems to me, uh, what with the recent, um, what was it, particle stew that we had a, a day or so ago, and a solar flare, even though it was a small solar flare, uh, apparently the solar flare, uh, the sun is a multi-dimensional being, just like us. Only much greater, of course, and you know, much more responsible for a lot of stuff, but... Um, when the sun has a solar flare, my feeling is that um, the, the flare affects Earth on many different dimensions, too. And so, in addition to affecting us in the third dimension, our physical bodies, it's also affecting our, our emotional and, and mental world, our astral world, the fourth dimension, and it affects those souls that are currently us in the fourth dimension, those who have pa our dear ones who have passed on and like that, it affects them too, and perhaps more directly, and helps them prepare for ascension. But while it's doing that, uh, because souls are very often in a uh, not too sentient state, um, kind of shell shocked or uh, kind of hiding. Um, when they're in the fourth dimension. For a long time, they may just hang out and um, in a semi-sentient state. So their fears can be roused by these changes in the electromagnetics of Earth, just like ours can. And uh, today I've noticed a pressure around my head and a feeling that there are many souls that are seeking refuge around me. And I know that they all have guides on the astral plane that are just waiting to help them. And I've also heard that Mary Magdalene and Divine Mother are just waiting for an opportunity to help them and guide them in the right direction. So the minute I noticed this um, kind of congestion around my head, I just wish them all speedily off that they should have, they should find their path and find their guides right away and that the, the Divine should help them right away to find a safe path to their destiny as souls. And the minute I said that, they all cleared out, It was, and they were pretty joyful about it. I did hear a few little voices, the wistful voices, are you sure it's safe out here, and, and that kind of voice, and I just reassured everybody that it was perfectly safe. You can't be more safe than in the protection, under the protection, and in the care of the Divine. So, those are my experiences recently with regard to the changes around Earth and on Earth. And I, I, I realize it's a lot to hear, even on a sunny day, so if I've aroused your incredulity, please pardon me. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful, sunshiny day. Talk to you later.